Well, you don't get the mic today, so it might not be as clear as it normally is. Uh, unfortunately, I, I let it die. Uh, well, what's going on? Uh, not much. I, I'm just waking up, going to work, coming home, sleeping, making a video, waking up, going to work, coming home, making a video, because this is... This is the life I've chosen to live, and it's grueling at times, but it is nice to still be able to talk. And, you know, the car vlogs have been a, a very, very fun thing to do first thing in the morning. You know, wake up, get here, and film a video. Uh, what else do we want to do with that? I know very soon I won't be able to do this because you won't have the light of day, and it will get very dark. So it'll be interesting because I know we did get a new phone, and uh, being able to do that stuff with uh, with this phone because it has a night mode. So I'll, it, it'll be interesting if I can if I can still do things like this or not through the winter. Although it gets very cold, so the car will have to probably be running. So I stay nice and toasty warm. Oh, I gotta say, there's some days I wish I could just sit there at home, make content, do things, play with people online, do things online, and it's a very, very much needed thing at this point. I cannot wait for the next five weeks to go by very, very quickly. As for the video today, you know, a lot of you probably, maybe some of you saw the video today, uh, me talking about the whole descent into the fandom. Things, you know, there was a lot of things that I didn't say in that video also. Um, muchly, it's just the the outpouring of support that you get from something like this has been absolutely crazy. And I tried to make that video from a different perspective, from the perspective of where I am. And there's a lot of people out there that are probably st in the same position I am. Uh, I've gotten to know quite a few people, you know, in a couple of discords, and I'm finding out there's a lot more people that have, uh, that have turned to the fandom or the furry fandom, and at the same time, they're just as lost as I am. The, a lot of people are sitting there going, okay, what do I do next? Where do I go? What do I do? You know, what I want to do next, I want to get trackers for VR so I can be more animated for VR. That That's 100% what's on my, on my list right now. And at the end of the shutdown, that is one of the things that I am looking to do. Um, I know I've spoken about uh, possibly going to a con. Uh, that's out of the cards. The, I've uh, come to realize that it's just too late to try and go to it. Uh, to find a place uh, where where I would be comfortable, it, it's not going to happen. Uh, I, you know, everyone's like, oh, you can share a room with someone. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to go to some place and share a room with someone that I don't know. Uh, mostly because I have my own medical issues. Uh, the, the medical issues I have are not not ones that I, I, I like to share with uh, people in a hotel room very, very um, off the cuff type of thing because it's not fun. It, it, it's not fun, especially after traveling and traveling long distances, flying in general does kind of bubble that those those issues up and because of that it just it, it's something that I don't want to really share with people that I don't know apparently they do uh lotteries and stuff like that for these conventions and I guess you're there to meet new friends and and see the friends that you see online so it is very different in that sense as for where I am mentally uh you know I gotta say this has opened my eyes to a lot and uh, mentally, it has brought forward a lot of things that I think I had suppressed. And I think it's very healthy at this point because now I'm getting it out in the open. Now, now I'm able to kind of let those things go and move on with my life and move on and just enjoy more things overall. You, you, and you know, there was one thing that I spoke about in the video where the mold, I, I, you know, you have this idea of what's going on in, in a fandom and where you kind of fit. And that's, that's been the whole thing. You, they, not only did they break the mold when I fell into the fandom, the mold was broken when I was born. <laughs> I'm not, I've never been that normal kid. I was never the normal kid. Um, I was the kid that sat there and was a smart ass and was able to do things uh, a lot differently in school. I didn't have friends in school. I had bullies. Uh, <laughs> those were my friends were the bullies in school. So I just stuck to myself. Uh, it, it, there, there was a lot of uh, just details with school that I don't want to remember. And 
you know, many a times where I'm walking down the street and I end up in a fight because I, that I, I, I sit there and I stand my ground. And I've always stood my ground. It's part of who I am. And whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at this point. I'm a lot older. I'm a lot more mature than a lot of people out there. And that, that probably makes things a lot different overall too. Myself, because I am of a very much more mature age at this point, I'm diving into a fandom very, very late in life. And it's not so much like I, you know, I've explained this to and up and down. It, it, things are much more different in that sense because the appeal as a kid, I can very much see it as a very young adult. I can see it a lot more. You can dive into these things. You, you can get into more of a party atmosphere at that point. But for me, where I'm diving in much more later than a lot of people, I am more mature. I can avoid the certain pitfalls that, that kind of come with, with the territory of like a high school drama sort of scenario. And I can just sit there and be like, yeah, okay, cool. Have fun. Uh, I mean, if you want to sit there and get into more uh, more nitty gritty details of it, it's it's your prerogative. And I can sit there and just be like, okay, yeah, what you guys are doing, it looks like fun. I'm going to join you in that. What you guys are doing, uh, maybe maybe that's not quite for me, but that's part of it is you kind of pick your own path. You pick the certain things that you want and that you roll with it. That's exactly what it is. So where where does that really lie and what do you really do? You know what? From a content creator standpoint, there is absolutely some just funny interactions. You know, I was watching a live stream and the, the, the two of them were playing golf and they were playing mini golf. And you can just see the one just was there to make the other one laugh. And that is absolutely hilarious. And the the streamer at the time, literally, pretty much, literally bawling his eyes out because he's laughing so hard at the at the other person that's just sitting there trying to make him laugh, trying to have a good time, and just m failing miserably at playing mini golf. And it was one of the funniest things I've sat there and watched in a very long time. And it, it takes me back to the Lethal Company. Uh, the Lethal Company stream, which I'm never going to forget. And everyone that know the, the old school subscribers to the channel, they will never forget that stream. And if you haven't seen that, it's been uploaded as its own video. If you haven't seen that, that stream was just degenerate and it was so funny I, I i i'm still thinking back to it i gotta go back into lethal company by the way there's here, here here's the funny thing about lethal company the the creator of it is a furry <laughs> did you know that i didn't know that going into it um, and they've made mods where you can use your uh, vr avatar into lethal company so you know i i gotta look more into that anyway i've taught i i can't believe i've already talked eight minutes you guys have a great day don't forget to like and subscribe i'm your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i will see you again very soon once again don't forget to like and subscribe